anti-Semitism is a mental illness of the nations and also of people that somehow went so far from the maker's will into the dark side that they became inner haters to our beautiful nation. We are not coming to fight back against them and to say, oh no, they're villains, they're evil. We just have some deeper understandings and insight about what that they are experiencing and how and why they came to that place that they're gonna feel and think that hatred to a whole nation is justified. The source of all that evil is ancient. Hatred of the nations against the success of Abraham, the success of Yitzchak against Yaakov and his great success, the nation of Israel that went out of Egypt and inherited the holiness and purity and wisdom and faith of Abraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov, the hatred of the nations who did not receive the Torah and started polluting the world with filthy, filthy, bad words saying lies about us, creating stories that are all false. In Christian periods of times, the Jews were suspected to drink blood of little children, baking the matzot in Pesach with children's blood and on. Also today, people will blame the Jewish people for sabotaging and destroying and manipulating the world economics and saying the Jews are involved with dark spiritual rituals. I will not tell you that there are no horribly sick Jewish people in the world. Definitely there are. But to say those Jewish people are the heads of the Jewish nation, that's already a great stupidity. And to include the majority of the Jewish people, the great beautiful souls of the innocent people who are building and working and believing and helping and creating and inventing and doing great things in the world, healing the world, fighting for world peace, to include them all in some craziness of some individuals that are part of non-Jewish satanic organizations. So what if some individuals fell from the highway and the main road of pure and beautiful Judaism and join some idols worshippers that are satanic or crazy like can we control as a nation all the individuals to tell you that some crazy person in LA or in New York will not worship the devil can I control that do you know how many Christians are worshiping the devil? And do you know how many Muslims are worshiping and serving the devil with their violence and with their craziness, raping their wives and abusing their children? Do you know how many police officers and judges and, and politicians are involved with children trafficking in the world? They're not Jewish, but they're sick maniacs that belongs in prison or even worse now there's no doubt that there are some stupid Jewish people that also fell into that place. But to say that Jews are a nation of so-and-so, that's the most ancient hatred in the world, anti-Semitism, worst stupidity. And you should know, and I'm with a real loving heart telling you that, if you give a place in your heart to hate the nation of Israel, you can already say that thing out loud that you hate the maker of the world the one who gave the bible to the world the one that all the true believers believes in him he chose the seed of Abraham and Yitzchak and Yaakov means not the seed of Esav and not the seed of Ishmael just the children of Yaakov to receive the Torah that is the clearest and most beautiful revealing of the truth that was ever been seen and there was no nation ever that saw such sight as the people of Israel when they got the Torah and we based on our holy sages and not based on Christianity, false messiah, just based on our oral Torah that we've been blessed to follow the holy sages in the times of the Mishnah, 
and time of the Gemara, times of first temple and second temple. We are the only ones who are observing, following and keeping the real true law of the Torah that was given to a nation. So if you're already cutting yourself from the people of Israel with pathetic hatred, you should also just know and don't be ashamed but admit it that you are cutting yourself from the true maker of the world and the universe. So good luck in that and I hope for everyone to wake up and to have a beautiful lifetime full of love and honesty and great success. Amen.